tour is on. What's really exciting about this tour is this time we're not going to be opening up for anyone else. We're going to be headlining the show and everyone, instead of warming them up, are actually coming to see us perform. Cross one, two, three. We went on tour before with our first album and we made mistakes. We saw what you do want and we saw what you don't want. We learned that we wanted to do more dance. We wanted to show more of our dance skills off and that we can sing down and dance down at the same time. A lot of groups aren't doing that. Today we're at rehearsal working on Bad Girl. And we're just trying to find out what we really want to do with it. So I'm really excited to see what comes together. Five, six, seven. Look in my eyes covered in Maybelline. Looking like something fresh out of magazines. I can be part of your deep fantasy. Can we walk to her? You're a detective. <laughs> You're the detective. Can solve my mystery. Love. Love, love is all that I'm missing. We have a lot of new material to learn. Let me see what it looks like. We want to break some new ground visually. So that takes practice. That's a lot of work. Baby, I'm try this trick thing. I just want to know who like the most comfortable is kind of flipping, but I want to connect your guys' hands. So it'd be like something like if you guys were my two bases, our arms would connect or your guys' arms would connect and this, my flip would go this way over the top of you guys. So today's day two of rehearsals and Tony is trying to come up with new concepts that haven't been done before on tour by an actual girl group. So we're just gonna try this out. Just bear with us while we work on this. The key is for you to just roll. Roll and if you jump onto it. So you say, okay, yeah. Try now. It's okay, Donna. Here, they're, they're, I'm like, like, it's okay. Right your wrist. And you're you're helping her over from that. You're just gonna roll. No, you guys are in Wait, hold on. 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 Sorry, 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 sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I don't mind falling. Oh. Wait, let me take a moment. She's like, hold on, let me get my three teeth in. Oh, my God. Are you okay? We are just tumbling and flipping our way into a big old mess. Uh-oh, boobies. No. <laughs> <laughs> Lauriann is back. We heard that she's working with the boys just down the hallway, but we haven't gotten to see her yet. How are, How are you? you? How are you? It was really good to see her. You know, she did a lot for us and, you know, going through the whole making the band and trying out. Hey. It was really nice to see Lauriann. We haven't seen her in quite a while, but I think about her a lot, and I think I really do appreciate what she's done for me personally, and I really did learn a lot from her. Ah! Hi, Daddy! <laughs> I've always loved Lori, she's amazing. But in the back of my head, I'm like, didn't her and Puff get in like a really big fight? And like, from what I know, it wasn't resolved. I'm happy and I'm like, Lori, I love you. But then I'm like, oh God, does Puff know? Well, you know, the boys, my God, what were they doing last season? I don't know, right. honey, they weren't yeah, doing anything on that show. Bunches of votes. Let's go. Well, I can't. I got. I'm uh, sorry. I, I, I got to stick on there too. <laughs> I love you guys. Have a good rehearsal. Bye. Andrea, good to see you, Ma. All right. I'll talk to you guys Bye. later. Okay. So, I mean, I think we should just cut to the chase and just, you know, in order for us to move on, we need to address. The last time we was in the same room with each other. I felt that you crossed the line in how you addressed me. It was not correct. It wasn't right. I've never disrespected you. You crossed the line as far as, as, as me being the boss of this. I ain't never had no problem with you. I ain't never boss you around in no way. You're right. You're the boss. I've never questioned that. I would never question that. I've worked for you for years. So obviously there was a disconnect. 
that maybe both of us just have to agree to disagree. I'm here to do a job. If you want me to finish that job, then I'm going to finish it. So did you miss me when you was away from me? Huh? <laughs> did you miss me? Huh? Huh? No. You didn't miss me? <laughs> no. You missed me a little bit. No, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> did you miss me? Sometimes. Check this out. We missed you. You know what I'm saying? You one of the best in the game. And you know, we all artists. We ain't always gotta agree, you know what I'm saying? But you're awesome, like my family. Okay, yeah. Yeah, and I, I know. I was definitely hurt by your reaction. Yeah, but I, I this is not an, I'm always there, no matter what. The and it goes both ways. No, I that was know. Our, that was our first problem we've ever had in history. At the end of the day, it was a bad day, but I think our friendship and our love for each other is like, you know, outweighs all that. Absolutely. And we get back to the work because, you know, um, you know, I love your energy no matter how crazy you are. And I'm hopefully you love my energy no matter how crazy I am. Like, we both crazy artists and we should be able to, to, to be that around each other. But at the same time, know where the lines are drawn at. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Just don't curse out the general then. I, w I didn't curse you out. You cursed me out first. But it's okay. We're going to agree to disagree. Welcome back, all right? Thanks for having me. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys, for real, full out, so we know what the problem is. Tour, Danity Kane is going to be doing about 13 songs. We're going to be doing stuff from our last album, stuff off of our new album, Welcome to the Dollhouse. So we have tons of work to get down to. Breathe. As a group now, like the way we kind of work when it comes to learning choreography and stuff, it, it honestly goes really smoothly. We all know each other, we know how each other works. You step and you lean and you one, two, throw. Work me half. The lower you get, the better. Because I'm taller than you. I'm taller than you. Oh I'm lower than you. Then that's a problem. <laughs> we just really have like this system that kind of just works out, you know, really good and kind of gets things done. Thank you guys. Y'all is ready. Just cleaning and you guys are ready for the stage. Hey everyone, hello, hello, hello. What's up, what's up? I know that you guys have a very busy schedule, but I want to like kind of get an update to see where y'all are at. I don't care if you got 10% of the song finished, do what you could do, finish it how you would finish it out. The whole process of this is to get better every time we have one of these family meetings, to get better every show that you guys do. Um, I'm going to be hard on y'all, just to give you the warning, this is not a game. I know we're not in the competition anymore, but when he comes in the room, he still wanted to show him. I got it. Still here. It is what it is. Let's see Danny Tank. Donnie Tank. J26 Tank. Now we gotta go. It's our turn. I can't wait to get up there and see what's gonna happen. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
what I just saw there, it shows the possibilities of, of what it can be. Y'all got a long way to go to where it's going to be, though. Y'all are the headliners of this tour, but don't be a headliner by default. If we was doing America's Dance video, y'all man came in third place. That looks like, it looks like some good choreography. It look like y'all could be my backup dancers or some like that. There's two weak links up in this right here. Andrea and Aubrey. Y'all dance skills, y'all need to step it up. When I first signed you, you was one of the best dancers that came off the bus. When I sat there and I looked right there, I was like, where is this girl from? Just dancing around like that. Things have changed. All right? Y'all gonna be the baddest chicks on the planet, whether y'all like it or not. Thanks a lot. If you're mad at me, if you're mad at me, show me something different. Make me, make me eat my words, show me something different. Are you looking forward to the party? Do I look like a princess? You look like an ice queen. That's not a good... I think that they used that back in the day for women that were bitchy. Really? Ice queen. Well, I mean, that's icy. That's what I mean. Not like a bitchy person. <laughs> so I'm on the cover of the fabulous Shador magazine, and tonight, Dee Woods and I are going to celebrate my debut. Ooh! Dee, are my boobs a problem right now? It depends on <laughs> one's tolerance for cleavage. <laughs> Dee Woods and I are going out for a night on the town, and we're about to be the official party girls that we are. What's up, Becky? So, Aubrey is doing fabulous things despite what some people have to say. She's on the cover of Jador magazine, looking fly. And I just want her to know that, you know, we got to celebrate the things that are, you know, great for us. second time around and we've grown a lot as artists I think we really came on to it just very young and and kind of not knowing everything that was going on and now you know with this album we got to we got to write on it it's very much our our baby I think we're really coming we're really coming into our own in this album and we really just we really put it all out there and awesome and I'm um, Aubrey I know that Diddy had a heart to heart with you last uh -oh. week on the show here we go um, and he said you could be holding back the group with your party lifestyle, but you didn't agree with what he had to say. Absolutely. So. Do you guys yeah. agree with that? Absolutely oh, not. Uh, no one agrees with that. You know, Puff's so. opinion was based. Puff's opinion was based on you know information that he wasn't you know completely aware of. I represent many types of women, as do every woman on this stage. But I definitely have two sides of me. I have my crazy party girl that loves to be the life of the party, and I have a side of me that works for the UN that has two charities that's traveled around the world that is philanthropic and, and you know, totally into saving the world. So, you know, every woman like you know and everybody knows is a million different things. Am I right, women? <laughs> yes. It can't all be work and no play. No, one, two, three. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I thought that I should let you know.
after the show, Diddy calls us into a meeting. I don't know what the meeting's gonna be about. However, when we're meeting with Puff in a back room, it's never a positive thing, and it's always gonna be something about how we suck. You know, my, my whole career is like I'm really going off a of vibe. If something ain't feeling right about this whole situation, just the overall, like, like styling and imagery of it, you know what I'm saying? You want to show all your skin, you you neck, you want to be naked. But the whole concept of Danity Kane was like, when it comes together, it's one. Puff's going hard on the group, and then all of a sudden he singles me out and starts going on and on about how unhappy he is with me. And I just feel like nothing that I do, he's ever happy with. Can I ask a question? How, what do you want to look like, though? Do you want to well, look I like a Playboy, on... Playmate? Do you want to look like you? Pop, I'm done with all of that. No, no, no. Like... What do you want to look okay. like, though? I'll tell what you. What do you want to look like, you. though? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'm not focused on me, 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 me. I'm focused on what this group should look like and how I should fit in this situation. You like big hair, though. I don't you like big do hair. You do like big hair. You like, like big hair. Pop, you you like a look. You like a lot of makeup and all that. Actually, I don't. I don't like big hair. I don't like certain makeup. I'm very flexible with what you want to do, and I've worked with everything that you've thrown I'm not at seeing me. the flexibility. You gaming me. Your hair people came in today, and they said this is how it needs to be. You know what I'm talking I don't about. Care. You pushing, you're another. pushing your worried. own image, though. I'm not worried about whether my hair is straight, curly, whatever. I'm not here in a group to have curly, straight, big makeup, whatever. I'm here in a group to sing with my group, and that is all I care about. For real, like I, maybe you just don't get me, and we You're don't get each other. You're me because if I pulled in all of the makeup artists and all of the hair people, they would not say that. With the wardrobe, did I not try and cover up all the problem areas that I've been seeing were not? Cute yes, we, we had that conversation so yesterday. Pop, how are you gonna get crazy with me? I work well with these people. But it's we're not cool. necessarily just the stomach area. No, I'm understand. talking about all of it. I mean, I was cool with whatever change he wanted to make today, and I did it. Yes, you were today. But, Aubrey, you have to admit that sometimes when you want to do something, you want to do it. Well, yeah, I see what the problems are on TV, Puff. When people are looking crazy, or this is looking crazy, or that's looking crazy. You even told me, review the things you do and pay attention to what the problem is. So I see what I do, and I see, ooh, that was not a good look. Let me fix that. I read the things that people say. You're the one that told me to do that. I do that, and I make an honest assessment with myself. I don't want you to look like Pamela myself. Anderson. I don't, I don't want to look sign like Pamela Anderson. Well, I want to look that's, like that's, Aubrey That's O'Day. in the direction. Well, you don't look like her. You don't look okay, like that girl well, that I signed. I'm glad you know who Aubrey is. Puff, it's hey, three yo. years later. It's three years later, and you're going in the wrong direction. Okay, well, you're going please in the wrong tell direction. me what it is you want. Truck pull over. I'm not changing nothing. Okay, well, you wanted the weed out, the weed out. I just want you to look good. If you're not happy, you hate me, then why are you have me here? I don't have to have you here. That's one thing that we can make clear. That's one thing we can make clear. I don't have to have you here. I'm trying. Why do you have me here? Because every time it's just such a problem. I have you here. I have you here because I feel you talented. But don't get it twisted. I'm starting to think about I'm why do I have you here. I'm not getting twisted. Okay, so you clear on that though. Check this out. You clear on that. You understand now. I'm, I'm asking myself why do I have you here. So I move on to something else else. No, I, and I'll, I'll give you the answer soon, all right? And you may not be here then. Okay. Before it gets to that. If anybody want to go with you, they could go too. Don't get it twisted, man. It gets dark and lonely. It does, trust me. quiet for a change. <laughs> Girl, I'm just like... It's gotten to a point where I just, I feel like this situation is getting impossible for me, you know? It's just like, I hate having these, like, these battle moments. Like, I'm really, it's weighing heavy on my heart. You can be as confident as you want to be, and like, Lord knows I'm not in any place where like, I'm completely comfortable with who I am, you know, I'm 20. But that's the thing, like, that you have to always stand strong on, and it's going to take work. So every time you get in front of him... I know. It's not about but, proving but yourself to him, time, but it's just doing you. But at the same time, it's, it's like never ending. The thing that like keeps me, keeps me going is like, you know, I mean, seeing you guys and like seeing that you guys believe in me, but it's like at the end of the day, you guys can believe in me all you want, but Puff is running bad boy. He's running our position in Atlantic. He's running the, the, the show. He's running all of this. And at the end of the day, if the guy sitting on the throne really believes all the things that he's been saying about me, then like I need to be somewhere else because I don't believe them. Mm -hmm. And if him and I aren't going to be able to like meet on the same page, then I need to be somewhere else that's going to support and believe in me.
What's up? How you doing? You all right? Cool. So, um, real quick, I just want to see, get an update of, you know, where you at real quick. Let's... All right, cool. Let's see the girls real quick. Very impressive. Wait, you want to talk? You want to talk to me in private? Yeah. talk to you about the way our relationship has been mm -hmm. for a minute. I feel like some of the stuff you say to me and the way that you push me really positions me as a problem child in this group and there's so much more to me. Mm -hmm. And um, I want to fix that. Well, uh, I was just feeling a lot of individuality instead of like you coming in and taking your talents and making a group better. Um, all of the other stuff, that isn't why I signed you. I signed you because of your talent. You know what I'm saying? Because you could sing, because you could dance. Because of your charm, your charisma. It hasn't been me trying to, like, demean you or trying to downgrade you. I've been trying to just, like, you know, wake you up and, um, and, and trying to get you to really, you know, take advantage of this opportunity. And I, I want you to be hard on me. Like, mm -hmm. I, I appreciate the fact that you're hard on me. When you're not, it would, wor it would worry me if you weren't, you know? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I want you to know, like, I totally respect you. And when I come mm -hmm. at you, it's not to disrespect you. I understand that you've given me this opportunity. Mm -hmm. and, you know, and I want you to keep I want you to keep pushing me. I just want our relationship to be better mm -hmm. because the way it is now, I, I just it's hard for me to, like, take what you're it's hard for me to get the message you're trying to give me. OK, I mean, I know sometimes I got to work on my, um, you know, my communication as a coach, you know, or, you know, as a leader and, you know, you know, to motivate more. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, like, you know, I, I like to call it like I see it, you know. And one of the biggest things is just like if you ain't, hey, we ain't got to be on no yes, sir, no, sir, but the slick at the mouth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know you got to see, you know you got to You know I was always mouth. like that. Did okay. you not know that? Yeah, but it's just From like. From the very beginning, it, I always was slick. Yeah, yeah. So we could just, t I'm just asking. You liked that about me in the beginning. Yeah, yeah, then yeah. Then it came at you, and then you didn't like it okay. anymore. <laughs> No, but we're, 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 I just want you to best, be the best that you could be, you know what I'm saying? I, I see great things for you. I see bigger things than where we're at, you know what I'm saying? Totally. I, want you to, I want you to lead this group and unify it, and I, I want us to, you know, keep on working because we, we still got a long way till we, till we grade. And I think with this tour, you're going to get a chance to go out there and really show people what you got, being able to perform. It's what we love the most. Mm -hmm. That's why we do this every day. All right, let's get on that. Let's get back to what got us here, working together and um, climbing up this hill together. You feel me? Yeah. All right, cool. Thank you. All right, then.
Hey, that's a sexy <laughs> routine right there. I ain't gonna lie. That right there, that's hard right there. We love it. I like everything that I saw. And the secret about having a great show is can you do it with all the lights on mm -hmm. in an empty room? Like, I was just entertained. I was captivated. Like, I feel like y'all really got what it takes. I'm just sitting here like proud papa. No disrespect to none of the other groups. They ain't got it like that. Huff comes in and for once doesn't kill the day, but only makes it better. And we're definitely happy about that. We need to at least give ourselves a pat on the back. We've been working hard. Now let's go party hard. Woo! Dee and I are Ebony and Ivory. Salt and pepper. And together, we run the streets. I know she's the one to go out with because Andrea is more of a homebody. Shannon's married and she wants to be, you know, on the phone talking to hubby. Dawn's working on getting married. What's left? Ebony and Ivory. We are young, fun, we're single, we're ready to mingle, we're looking fine, and we're looking for you. Watch out. What a nice day to take a stroll. It's nice and sunny. Not in rehearsal right now. <laughs> Ooh, look at the boat. Oh my goodness, wait, you know what this means, right? Strong Iron Man. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. How are you doing? All of a sudden, we end up in this huge sea of gorgeous seamen. <laughs> hey, guys. Hi. Oh, my You're gosh. Back from work now. Look at you guys. I don't know if any of these men are ready for Aubrey and D Woods, but you know, me and Aubrey are hoping to meet some seamen, or some marines, or anybody. Tonight, everyone's heading out. Sanity Kane, Day 26, Donnie. Sudden, the cute military men come over. Yes! I'll see y'all later. Good night. You too. Come on, soldier. We finally met our men in arms. They're from the Marines. There was a particular one that stood out to me. He has a cute little baby face. He's so sweet. And on his sweet little body, he has horrible death tattoos. What's your job? Artillery. We're both artillery. So you deal with all the guns. We had this whole Fleet Week fantasy all week, and now we're finally getting to fulfill it. We're going to end it here at Johnny Utah's, though. We're not going anywhere else. I don't know if they know that, but we know that. <laughs> that is so funny! <laughs> The mission was definitely accomplished. He and I became little military women for the night. Thank you, soldiers. This is my version of the salute. Ready? <laughs> hey, it's Danny Kane. Now you've seen us on TV, but here's your chance to see us live in concert in New York City. Get out there, because day 26, Donnie Klang, and of course the best part is, 
Dan, if you can. It's Wednesday at the Hammerstein Ballroom. Don't miss it. Oh. When I'm singing, I don't hear myself. We gotta, we gotta work on your monitors right now. In this tour, we're doing headsets and handheld, and we've never worked with the headsets before. Poetry, damage, like, I need to hear. The chorus is in my ear. Well, let's, let's get the monitors right first. Let's get your ears right first, because we're running out of time. Our sound check's running longer than it's supposed to, and so we're kind of jumping into everyone else's times right now. We're still sitting, and we still wait on Danny Kane. I don't care how long it takes. We're gonna be up here until we get it right. Shut up now. So it's been a rough day, and now Diddy's here. Here we go. We start the show, and uh, there's a lot of feedback problems. Struggling to finish, even though it's really just becoming one big disaster. Your mic on? I was know? singing the whole time. So you got to give a signal, though. You can't keep it going on. You have to do something to your hand. You have to I give a signal. I can't hear out that I thought in there, though. He said he has your mics up, but he says it's like y'all whispering. No, that's you know, bull I was singing no, mad sing hard. Loud. I was singing mad hard. It's not mixed. Some vocals are louder than the other, and that has nothing to do with us. OK. This is what everybody goes for. You the headliner. You just keep on writing the list. Keep on writing the changes. Scratch one off. Now I'm going to just give y'all my opinion on what changes y'all should make. And then y'all gonna have to know yourselves every night. Okay, damn, that didn't work. They was looking at us like we was crazy. Let's, let's all come down here. Let's do this. Puff sits us down to give us his notes, and he has a whole lot of them on that little piece of paper that he's holding. We got some things we gotta fix. I think they need to really restage the intro and really milk the drama of y'all being up top. They need to cut some of the fluff out so it stays exciting. It just gets a little long-winded. The sleep on it was something that could be honestly cut out. Add talking parts in between, like every two songs. Put damage in the right place. Really talk to the light person. If anything, he could get right a program. Can you just cut Sucker Love for Love, period? Yeah. Great. So you want to just redo our whole show? OK, that sounds like that can happen by tomorrow. The headliner is different. They want to feel like you're sitting them on their lap, doing every song with them. If somebody gives you five songs in a great way, you love it. If they give you five songs great and five songs you ain't want to hear, you ain't really want to do that. Tomorrow, the, the crowd is going to be here. you are going to be feeling this pressure for the first couple of shows. Day. Wait, drum roll, please. Today is the big day. <laughs> Show day for me, you get nervous a little bit, but it's more like anxious. The stage is home, so it's like I'm anxious to, to get in my comfort zone. I'm a little nervous. I, I always get a little nervous, but I, I think I'm extra. Nervous now. I mean, we're the headliners, and Diddy's putting a lot on our shoulders. It was the most amazing feeling ever to see that many people in a theater just waiting to see Danity King. Once upon a time. Well, 
to the dark.
theater filled with all of your fans. I mean, something just comes out of you. We can just become whatever greatness is inside of us. Yo, for real, for real, for real, for real, ain't no book. I was on the sides over there just looking at y'all with a, such a sense of pride, like the way y'all have grown, the way you stepped it up, all my beefing with you, it was for a reason. You was out there killing it, baby girl. This is the way I like to see y'all look. This is the way I like to see y'all feel, the way I like to see y'all command the situation, you know what I'm saying? I was up there, I, I was at a concert. I wasn't working, I was up there, I was looking at y'all. Such a, such a sense of pride. Y'all was just doing your thing. Yeah. Record, it. Record. Yeah, record it, record it, record it, record it, yeah. No, no, I'm telling y'all. Hurry up, hurry up, come on, get, get, get re the record, this is it. This is it. Okay, y'all, y'all, okay. For real, it was like the way y'all looked at all your people in their eyes, the way y'all gave a show for them, the way y'all turned into divas on Bad Girls, y'all had them from ever since there, the way the theatrics of it, the way y'all made the changes, that, that's the test of champions, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. To always be able to adapt. I gave y'all a couple of notes. But y'all put that show together. Y'all went and did some things, and I was just, I was sitting there, and I was entertained. Y'all remembered, you don't have to give them too much. Just enough for them to be wanting more. I don't know if y'all realize it, but the whole floor, they still standing out there. They ain't leave. Less is more. Did y'all feel what I was feeling, though? This was your show. For me, it was like finally the dream had come true. And I want to thank y'all for working hard. I'm proud of y'all. I'm passing y'all the baton now. I'm not going to be yelling at y'all no more. I'm not going to be checking y'all. Y'all got to check each other's. Y'all got to be accountable for y'all careers and y'all going to the next level. You ready? I just want to watch and be a fan. Have a good time, all right? Let's go. Before we get on the road, we have to advertise so that the cities we're coming to know that we are coming. Daddy, Daddy K. Bring making the band to you. Oh, okay. I want to you live. What? <laughs> Hot 97.5 blazing today. Oh, oh, my my and invented a whole new radio station. <laughs> With WPO. Right. With WPYO 99. Uh, blah. With WFLZ 93. 90. Yo, what up? We're day 26. The making the band is coming to your town, nigga. You and the action's gonna be even better because you could be on it. Ha, 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 ha. I'll take it with it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you messed up a good ass tape. Hey, it's Danny Kane. Joy. 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 Hey, this is Danny Kane. Oh, sorry, say your name. Sorry. Oh, we're hungry. This Saturday, tomorrow, oh, this Saturday. XL1067.com. I was hoping you guys would get that right. Hey, it's Danny Kane. Listen here on POW 106. <coughs> Where hip hop lives. Today's the day we're officially on tour. Oh, we headed out, we packing up, hitting the bus, and headed on our six city tour. Having some trouble packing. I see. It hasn't made its way into the suitcase. D, help me zip. Where is all that stuff gonna go? Okay, ready? I'm gonna jump. Dang, why won't you just fold? Then things would fit. That's how you gotta do it, D. I have an announcement. Oh. Yeah, boys, do you guys know this? We have an announcement. This uh -oh. is the first and number one rule of this bus. Uh oh. About to be with Day 26 and Donnie on a long tour. So, first, we must establish ground rules, folks. Here are all the rules. Number one, do oh, not fine, take a fine, dump. Fine. <laughs> Rule number one, no going number two. Two. Hold on, y'all acting like girls don't him. do the number two, too. Diddy Kane does not front. When we have to do it, we, get we will off tell the bus, bus driver. driver. We get off. We yeah. need to get off at the next exit. <laughs> yep, we say it. Step back. When you say twice, you're <laughs> serious. No stinky stink on the bus. We can't have it. So that's rule number one. It's rule number no two. Sloppiness. No sloppy. No sloppy picking up. Come on, man. That's for the tour. No, rule number two. We can drink and cuckoo. You know, it's fun. Bad boy for life. But... There will be no excessive drinking to the point where you fall in a bush. 
Girls got about a whole page full of rules that they want us to go by. This is not y'all bus, this is our bus. How you gonna give us rules? I thought it'd be cool if Q and I and my parents go to dinner. The problem is, everybody else wants to go too. <laughs> Do I need a quick long round for me? <laughs> Are you scared? No, I'm not nervous. My dad doesn't bite, I promise. Okay, I'm nervous. Hey, Daddy. My baby. I'm real nervous. Like, I think any any man would have been nervous meeting Don's parents, so I, I, I don't know what to expect. Time for a little Alfie. What, Long Island? Patron. Patron. He drank two things of Patron. Daddy, you want some sweets? All of them have, like, drugs, and you don't. He can't order alcohol yet, Daddy. Oh. Snap. I got that. Did you just say snap? Me and I got it. Oh, OK. We're having a good time. We're eating. We're all chatting. Let me have some of your drink. Oh, that's, oh no. Don, you don't need this whole thing yourself. Me and you are the lightweights of this group. That's why I'm saying no to you. No, I don't want you doing Q in the bus. Come on. Oh, I'm thinking, oh, man, like, he about to punch me in my face. You all right? Yeah. You all good? I understand. I know the deal. I'm sorry, it might have been different if I didn't know you. This family knows me very well. I'm not surprising them. Y'all gonna get my parents started. They don't drink. You said don't have sex because it's two minutes, and then you're pregnant. That's what you told me. Is that how little Dawn was created? No, honey. Little no, Dawn wasn't created in two minutes. <laughs> so it was a great dinner, and he got out of it with flying colors. He looked a little nervous in the beginning. But it's all good. My parents are cool. Come on, baby, let's go. We got a roll. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. Be good. Be good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Love you so much. Love you too, baby. You've been okay. Hey. Do you like me? <laughs> Was he real with you? Did he seem like yeah. he liked you? Then he liked you. If he didn't like you, he'd let you know. Bye, Baltimore. 
JK loves you. It was wonderful. Chicago, you're next. Let the record play. Uh, oh, I think I missed it. Rewind it. I gotta see exactly what happened. It wasn't enough. For my twenty dollars. Okay. Me and Willie have a little bit of a bet going, and I told him, I said, Willie, if you take your shirt off, you owe me twenty dollars every time you do it. Thus, ladies, I am gonna be rich. And it was fun. I can't wait to do that stuff over and over and over again. I could be tired with this check. You came out like a bro. Wait, did everyone else take their shirts off too? Wait, because y'all all walked out. Like, no, I'm get through it, Willie. Really. I want to run his belly. I do, right? Well, when I come in, I'm going to clock Hey! Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even though Will can do it, don't think that everybody else in the group can do it. And I think they're starting to think they can. Why don't just all do it at the same time? Yeah, yeah, right, dude. Baby, give me two, three. Hey. Let's just start a whole movement. All of us take off our shirts. Now that would be a show. This was like how you said. Well, well, the first time you farted in front of Don, like what happened? I didn't care. So you just farted, and she was like, like you guys didn't say anything. I said, Ugh. <laughs> I was laughing. Not I was like, again. baby, <laughs> that's the test. They want to see if you're like it's the test. That's <laughs> not fair. I know that ain't no me. test. I, I don't fart from him. Like, he's a perfect I but still go could. fishing. I get my hands dirty. I ride horses. I'm a. I'm not just a prissy girl. I don't you have to fart. fart in front of my man to be not prissy. <laughs> but if you farted in front of me, I would. I wouldn't care. And that's that's not true. I, I don't believe, I I don't believe that. that. You would not want a girl to be like, girl, hey, baby. And Beyonce came in this bitch and was like, girl, you would not exactly. You would be like, no. Exactly. That's my point. <laughs> they, want they want you to be untouchable, but not no, so untouchable. But why are you giving it to me loud then? What is she? What is she like? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> One of the other things that we do when we're on tour is club appearances. We go hang out because we like to see our fans we like to promote the show the album just sit back and chill and then maybe have a drink or two with you guys husband on the road with me you know it's okay just kiss in front of us we'll be fine <sighs> They have just blossomed into this little, you know, whole full-blown relationship. I'm planning their wedding right now. <laughs> Vanity Kane fans are the craziest, nuttiest, most supportive bunch of people. I love Vanity Kane! We, we love, love Vanity Kane! Vanity Kane all day! Vanity Kane all day! Vanity Kane is unstoppable, baby. Hey, Looking all nice. <laughs> hey, Robbie. Hey. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. How you doing? Y'all getting ready to go on soon? Yo, Greg, going now. Was some of your sound check, you sounded really good, and I like Thank when you, you. go. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Y'all about to annihilate y'all. Well, I was just thinking. I was like, I just want to know how does it feel to perform with like so many people and know that deep down they're waiting for us. <laughs> <laughs> what is this smack talk? What is this stuff that goes on between me and Big Butter? I don't know, but whoever starts it. I'm gonna finish it. It feels just about as good as knowing that you perform right after day 26 and knowing that everybody just sitting there out of pity to see y'all. Oh, oh, you know, I like Dawn. She's a real nice girl. 
But you know, at some points, I have to let her know, I have to break her back to the ground. You know, have to let her know that we running things over here. <laughs> it doesn't explain the key change in the underwear being thrown at us that says DK. You don't understand the panties being thrown at us to say day 26. I feel like they're just waiting. They want to have their panties off. I'll tell you what it is. <laughs> so that they're free when we come on stage. I'm like MVP. I'm like Evander Holy, but I am like the heavyweight champion of Smack Talk. Well, I just have to say this because it's in my heart. Just in case, you know what I'm saying, you don't hit the screens, Arby and I will be with megaphones in the front row just to get well, that. Let me tell you something. Throw... You know what we can do? We can all go stand in the audience because you know they're going to scream if they go out there and, and they can make it, like, the it make it seem like the screen is connected. And when they go on stage, we'll make sure to go over to the sound guy and tell them to turn off turn the face all your mics. No, turn off all the face screens <laughs> and all their <laughs> mics. It's not going to happen. Come on, son. We got to go. We got to get out of here. We got to go get sexy. I love doing this. I love you guys. You're good. I'll make sure to stand in my megaphone. All this talk about ecstasy and right now, Aubrey, we gotta talk about the kind of guys we like because I'm sure these fellas want to know what kind of guys do Danny K get into. You don't know what kind of guy Don likes. Wow. Oh. <laughs> but D, I gotta keep it real with the girls. How many girls in here have dated a dude that's really fine and he thinks he's a pretty boy? Leaving me. You're leaving me. I want you to go. So today is a sad day. We are splitting up from the boys. We're going to our own solo day, Danny Kane in Utah, and the boys, day 26, are going to Vegas. I don't like. I don't like this. The separating thing. I'm gonna see you. I don't know because y'all doing y'all thing and we doing ours. This is gonna be hard for the both of us, but we do understand that we have like priorities to our groups and our groups come first. I feel like what it is is I get spoiled. Is I get like spoiled and then, you, and then you take it away and it's like worse than if it wasn't there for me. I'll take it away. <laughs> you two, you <laughs> leaving me. Fun. You leaving me. I'm just nervous. I just hope that I get to see her. Yeah. I'm just in love. See y'all later. Thank you. Y'all said that we said it in nice. harmony. Thank you. You're dating the whole group. Do you understand? The whole group. So before the show in Utah, we're going to take a little, you know, chill out time, a little me time. And I'm thinking like, you know, spas, maybe I can get a manicure. No, the group wants to go horseback riding. Shannon. Glad you guys I'm are here. Shannon. Roger. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Aubrey. Nice Aubrey. You. Aubrey. Yeah. D. Woods. You guys, D. Woods, all right. You guys ready to ride? Yeah. All right. Well, we got some beautiful horses up there. And 
Anybody want a wild one? I do. No. Okay. Ah, uh, here's the wild girl. <laughs> He's looking at you. He looks at you like Q looks at you. Like, Don, come and get me. <laughs> I think you're a little too fashionable for him. I know, I was giving you high fashion horse riding. Well, you know, if you had the black and white one, it would match perfectly with your purse. <laughs> I feel like there's so many rules about what you need to wear when you get on a horse, and really, for what? You can be fashionable and be on a horse. No one said that you can't ride a horse with five inch boots. I'm a little worried right now. I could barely walk in these shoes. I shouldn't have worn heels. Aubrey is not dressed for riding. She is dressed for a show on a runway or something. She has these big Mary Kate and Ashley glasses on and this headband. So she looks like she's like playing tennis. Even the horse does not like what Aubrey's wearing. Oh, I don't. <laughs> Dang, this is gonna there? be scary. Oh, I, have... I don't know how Aubrey's gonna get her foot up in them tight ass jeans. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Uh, Ready? One, two, three. Here we go. Oh, that wasn't yeah, that bad, was it? Yeah, Yay! Honey? We're walking Fashion Week today, Bandit. <laughs> Bandit, he's my horse. He's the rebel of the group. I'm the rebel of the group. You be ready to Stop. get going. Bandit? Bandit? Oh, no. Wait, hello? Stop, Bandit. Whoa, whoa. We felt each other's presence immediately, that's all. We just made eye contact. Bandit knew who was going to be riding him for the rest of the day. And that was it. Nothing else needed to be said. Can I stay by you? Yeah, I'll, I'm, I'll be I'm very accident prone. Oh. OK, yeah, we don't want you to fall off or get hurt, so. The horses are, like, nice. And then they decide they're kind of needing, you know, nature. They're doing a nature moment. They're ha either. <laughs> the horse took a big <laughs> He took a gigantic <laughs> Oh my god! Body, oh one goes. Oh my god! Oh It'll smell like the horse by the end of the trip. That's all. Oh, right. it. oh, that's a lot. Oh, my oh, horse just two. stepped in your you Gotta go, you gotta go. They don't only really stop to go into the bathroom or go any, they just go as they're walking. <laughs> oh, yours just dropped a little too. Oh, oh my God. Okay. I don't want to get too close. It's splattering. <laughs> oh, it's burning my okay. nostrils. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Hey. I think I'm allergic to their poo. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get your picture taken. Smiling. Honey, look up. Ba Bandit, look up. One, two. Come on, cowgirls. I feel so bad because the boys are missing all this beautiful. Scenery. So here we are in Utah, far from the boy. Did you talk to Q? Are they going to strip clubs? No, no, no. Would you care if you went to a strip club or no? No. You're like me, I don't care about I that kind of stuff. Hard. Me too. This would be the perfect place to come with your significant other. I wonder how it is to have a relationship. That's crazy. I wonder how it is, Don. Okay. I set myself up for that one. Mm -hmm. Let's talk really about nice. no, you not. using the L word. Can we not? Yeah. Oh. Phil's been in love with you since the day he saw your beautifulness. <laughs> Even though it's hard because we are in this relationship thing trying to make it work and it is out in the open, I'm still a private person, so it's very uncomfortable for me. Can we not talk about that? Are you guys using the four letter? What, what is going on? Right right now? I heard what it the other day luck? and I'm like, am I You guys are talking about luck, luck right? <laughs> Four letter L word. I don't tell him that Shannon, I wish to you have everyone at this table knows the four letter L word. If they want to say it, that's their business. <laughs> I know. Well, I just wanted to say, as a member of this group, who's your friend, I think it's lovely. So who said it first? I always. What is it. going? On? <laughs> that's <laughs> always a question. Who said it first? What is going on right now? I don't. I don't know. Please tell me you were a G and you said it after. I you don't. Did. You know. You had to be a G. Come on. He said it first, right? You know. As far as me and what Q and I talk about, whoever says I love you, it's forcing me to question every day, should I take this to the next level? Do you think it'll work because it's so It's going to work because I love you. And when you love somebody, you make it work. Yeah, you promise. I'd be scared to tell you someone that if they didn't tell second. me first. Really? It's just to protect yourself. Love is a big word. I think you don't just throw that around. Don't throw it around. Who says anyone's throwing it around? Mm. I'm saying it's a big word. It is a very big word.
It's very scary. It is. Tonight is our show in Park City. It's at Harrio's. It's like a bar, club kind of atmosphere. Bright lights, home club. Feels like that seems a way to go. It's a more intimate venue. We're really close to our fans, so we should have a lot of fun. One more great show down, and now it's time to get out of the nature, head to Vegas, and see what the boys are up to. Come on, Cubie Dooby Doo. His name's Cubie Doo, like Scooby Doo, but not. He looks like him, don't he? Looks like him. It's the lips and the eyes. It is eyes. Big eyes and lips. You know what? I'm gonna go barf. <laughs> I'll come say goodnight Jealousy when I'm done. is a bad habit, everyone. So we're headed to Vegas, and I'm excited because it's fun in the sun, some daiquiri, <laughs> and of course, Q. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm excited to see him. Take a night to QB. <laughs> <laughs> you just need to get some prescription meds on our bike. <laughs> Come on, QB Doo Doo. Screw those girls. <laughs> We just got to Vegas, and the most important thing we have to do today is go to the pool. So, pretend if you can. Hey guys, can you do us a big favor? Can you bring one of those chairs over to us in the third section down there? Thank you. Did you talk to them or anything? Uh, I'm good. Thank you. Can you help that? No. Oh, no. Vegas, baby. Hey, Aubrey. So we're having a bad boy reunion at the pool. We're being fabulous, walking around in our bikinis, and of course the boys in their Tims and their sweaters and their jeans. Woo! Yeah. Well, Why you got that towel wrapped around your waist? <laughs> Can you do it to the beat like this? From the start. What are we doing tonight? What's going on? I have a surprise. I have surprises. I have. You have a surprise for me? Yeah, I have a surprise. For you. How big is the surprise? Um, <laughs> pretty big. I think you're gonna like it. You think I'm gonna like it? Yes. Okay. Thank you. You want to Hey, baby. <laughs> What Q did for me, I've never been given anything like that by by any guy. Like the thought process and and just this being, it was just so sincere. And this is the first time like I've ever gotten anything like this. Oh, I'm gonna baby. fix it up for you. That's I'm gonna take you to the balcony. This view is 
car on it like ice. I know you like the car. You scared? Yeah. <laughs> Come back. It's fine. I know. It's fine. Look at this. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, you did real good. Like, Thank you. Never had this before. Really? Never. This is so nice. Wow, this seems familiar. Remember this? Me? We were in Miami, and I had your hat on like this. And you said... Look at me, dog. Really? Kiss me my shit. No, I don't trust you. Give me a kiss and shit. I'm not gonna kiss you. Just buddies. <laughs> I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed with you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right, right. You smell good. Mm. Are you a sucker for love? Oh, come on now. Fly with me, fly with me. Hey, I'm a sucker on the love. Smooth is all. Anything he wants, I could provide it. I'm a writer. Look at his desire. Tell me, baby, what you want. This is like my first date. Wow. Extremely nervous. I mean, nervous. You good. <laughs> Do guys throw this soap at y'all? That's something tricky, right? I wouldn't mind if a guy would throw this down. You can't find someone who does appreciate you and want to give themselves to you and be the fairy tale. People say that fairy tales aren't real and that you can't get your white knight and you can't, it, you can. And like Shannon would sit down and tell me that all the time and I didn't believe her, but she has hers. You know, she's married and everything. And for the first time I feel like that fairy tale might be true. I'm a sucker, I know that. <laughs> you don't have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a sucker too. <laughs> I'm really gonna miss this tour. It's been so much fun. We've all really become a family. Now it's ending. At this point in the tour, there's two cities left. And it's just sad because the tour is about to be over. We all have to go our separate ways and, and do our own separate careers. Now I'm gonna be single and alone again. <laughs> you and me both. I need attention. That's your line right there. <laughs> Yay! San Diego is close to my home, so all my family's gonna come down and visit. Oh. My niece, Isabel, I'm extremely close with her. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Unfortunately, now that I'm working so much, I don't get to see her too much, so. You want me to come home? Yes. Oh, why you miss me? Yes. But then what about the group? <laughs> And she told me, she's like, can you not be in the group anymore? <laughs> you want Thea to come home? Then she won't be famous. I miss her. <laughs> now I got some oil. You need baby oil? Will, well, Will likes to take his shirt off. Left, right, left, I right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. Left, right, left, right. He took his shirt off in Baltimore. <laughs> Chicago. Vegas, and here we are in San Diego, and I think things are getting taken to another level because there's baby oil. Sweat dripping all over your body. There's excess granite. Oh! oh. 
Willie's kind of been coming in and like, you know, he's been taking his shirt off a lot lately and he's getting baby oil on him. <laughs> That's a little much, it's excessive. Like if the sun were to hit him, he could maybe cook. <laughs> I love Will. We'll get a pot and like cook on it. Go get it, Willie. Go cook us a meal with your biceps. Can you go away? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm trying to stay focused, zen on my show. And why does Willie have to walk in with his shirt off? Ask him for some baby oil all over his 50 pack. I don't know why everybody's just staring. I'm just, you know, getting ready, getting prepared to do my job. So during a day 26 show, like clockwork, we're always gonna get Will's six pack. All of a sudden, I see Q taking off his shirt. What I fear is, that everyone will start getting the Willie complex and that they will start all taking their shirts off. <laughs> it's getting out of hand right now. He asked me for your number. Because he was like, um, the picture. your mom has a picture that I want. And I was like, oh, okay. And he's like, yeah, she knows which one. And so I was like, oh. I was like Willie said he wants some picture from you. And he's she's like, oh, yeah, he totally wants the picture of himself naked. Not naked, but like with his shirt off on stage. I was like, he kept calling he for that so picture. Conceited. He's hilarious. See, he wanted the picture of his, his shirt off. But they all were trying to take their shirts off. Yeah. At the Willie. Mm -mm. <sighs> Once Willie does it, they can't do it. Don't do that. <laughs> just, just let Willie do his thing. He's like, you're cool. Wait. You're like, don't do this. Don't do this, Danny. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> he said they screamed, so it was OK. <laughs> what kind of scream was it? They said it was like, no, they did. <laughs> I was like, woo. It's like, oh, he's got a little shirt off. You're like, the screen form. <laughs> so peck. Oh. <laughs> and, Will, and Willie's like, nice and like, incredible. <laughs> LA is going to be our last stop of the tour. But before we do the concert, we're going to be doing our new music video for Bad Girl. <laughs> has done three videos today. We have Showstopper, Ride For You. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Damaged. And our fourth video will be Bad Girl. We're really excited about this one. It's a little bit different than all the other ones. We're kind of showing our alter egos, getting a little sexy, wearing some black leather. <laughs> whoa, camera. Whoa, whoa, playback. The premise for the video is it's a comic book, and we have alter egos. So basically, we have the regular girl, and then when the red light comes on, All right, ladies, go we transform into bad girls. God is amazing. We all have different sections, and it starts off. I'm being interrogated by the mean, bad detective, and then all of a sudden, I handcuff him and throw him on the bed, and oh, I mean, the table. <laughs> Talon's gonna get a boner. No, no, no. I am in a peep show box. Oh. Oh. Moving on to my gurney sex. I am strapped in a gurney. A mad scientist has me under his wing, and my mad scientist is none other than. Q. I am on a motorcycle and I get to karate chop a guy who's chasing me. Can you stand up on a bike and kick? Yeah! All bragging aside, I have the best part. And for my part, I'm all tied up with chains in a dungeon like atmosphere. One of the coolest things about this video is that the infamous, the awesome, the greatest Missy Elliott is in our video. Everybody knows how dope her videos are, and you want to just sit there in front of the TV and watch them over and over and over again. Danity Kane and Missy Elliott, we bad girls. Okay. Missy, we go, we go like this, too. Okay. So if you want to do that with us. Okay. Or you can do, like, a version Okay, no, I'm going to do, do that. I'm going to do that. Hey, 
me. I can do it all night till the break of dawn. On, on and on, I keep on going. They call me a Jezebel, cause I fix, I does it well. I get in my hair. Bad girls, is y'all up in here? Tonight, more attention, I just won't keep. And if need your attention, I can be that too. Missy is in the video, that means it's automatically stamped hot. That's a wrap. We can't wait to give him our final bad boy show. We gotta go out with a bag. Willie text me and What's up, y'all? What up, what up, what up? Hi. Good to see you guys. What's up, what's up? Congratulations on your last show. I heard everything's been getting better, so I'm excited to see it. What's been your best show so far that y'all liked? New York. New York. New York, New York. Awesome. They said Chicago was pretty cool. Yeah. It was, it was. But then we still have tonight, so. Yeah. yeah. Let's finish up strong. The crowd is great. Well, I'm excited to see the show. I just want to come and wish y'all good luck. Thank you. So I'll see y'all out there. Okay, thank All right, you. bye-bye, y'all. Are you running on stage at the Platinum Clock tonight? Yeah. <laughs> now, I'm going to introduce y'all, though. OK. So I can give y'all an extra push. All right. All right, see you later. Thanks. Mom, what's something I could do for tonight? I think you should do the upside down thing. I, I think that's that. funny. <laughs> As you all have seen, the boys have been taking their shirts off in the shows, especially Willie. But what they don't know is we have a little surprise for them. See, Daddy Kane knows how to flip it. Hope you're ready, boys. I was going to go for it, but I'm like thinking, what the f if they okay. it turns bad? Sorry. I should do it. I should do it. What do I do with Bill? You're doing Brian and Mike. I'm nervous about this. Does anyone have super glue? Show us how you got the things you do it. Flip me a shot and I go back in the wind. So we got it. Because I got a pocket full of candy with your favorite flavor. Donnie has no idea what he's in for, and that's exactly how I like it. You want to play the bad boy? We'll give you some bad boy. Dre is like PG, and then I'm like giving you a little bit of a PG-13. And then here comes Aubrey, and she's giving rated R slash X. You make me want to is fulfilled. Doesn't loosen up, Danny. Ain't nothing gonna loosen them up. Thank you, Donnie. <laughs> so now that we're done with Donnie, it's the boys' turn. Uh-oh. I, I thought maybe I should say hi to you guys, because you know I'm the quiet one, the shy one, the talk. No, she's not. 
slightly different. <laughs> On the next uh, song we're doing, you guys, we're gonna bring some special guests out again, because we know you can't get enough of these boys. And we're gonna take you to ecstasy. To them, they bought the sexy. And when it comes to bringing the real sexy, Daddy Kings, your girls. We love you, LA! Thank you, guys. So Pull up to our hotel that we're going to be staying at, and it is gorgeous. It's like looking at a postcard. I'm gonna need to find me a man. Our room is the presidential suite, the top of the, you know, hotel. Let my room be. This is mine. Thank you. Oh my god, you guys, look outside. Hi. What's up, you bitches? What does the governor suite look like? Sandy Kane, presidential, boys, governor suite. Do y'all have a jacuzzi on your terrace? Look at you, man. Oh, there's one up here. <laughs> Hell yeah! Let's go to RMD, come on. Come on, Ebony. I and Ivory. We are gonna be in a suite together. We have a little jacuzzi! Ebony! Hey! And if we don't wanna talk to you, don't take it personal. I wanna right. get a lap dance from the guy that just brought in the suitcases. Hey! Hola! Aubrey and D. Wood, they just getting a party crack it immediately. Yes! Come on! Come on. <laughs> yes. We all survived his vacation. <laughs> After a while, I'm watching everybody, and these dolphins, they act like dogs. They make me laugh. I'm like, okay, even though they look a little weird, they're not that bad. say this. 
That was one strong dolphin that pulled Big Mike back to the side of the pool. That was one strong dolphin. Well, it's birthday. And we're going to have a really, really good time. We got a little something special for him. It's my birthday. And I'm ready to party. Robert, you look so sexy. Well, thank you. The guy that's his birthday, he's a veteran. He's a veteran. He loves that stuff. Yes, that's a lot. It's a big shot. Drink. Drink. Go, 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 go. Happy birthday. That does, that does I'm going to eat this work. cheese stick and think of you. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Me and Robert are the volunteers. That means we have to totally submerge ourselves into the whole traditional garb and everything. Do I got to take this off? Yes. Right, Robert. Yeah, Robert. Take your socks Take your socks off. You need to take your socks off, and you need to put your boxer a little bit up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I don't, can't take my socks off. I think Robert looked amazing in his little blue sparkly outfit, but I would have uh, X'd the white socks out. of the ocean. We are doing something called the sea trek. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm not nervous about the water. I'm nervous about what's in the water. I will okay. go first. Good. <laughs> this is a piece of cake. What? I'm from Southern California. I live at the beach. I live under the water. Can you take it off? <laughs> oh, my God. What happened? It's stuck in the head, Jerry. OK, I am not going first. You go first. No. Go. That's what happens in all the horror movies, and I die first. This is something that I just have to conquer, mind over matter. It's only water. Hey, if she makes it, then I'm doing it. She did it. Oh man, now this means I have to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to lower myself into the ocean and swim with the fish. OK, let's go. Lots of colors, bright fish, silver fish, big fish, long, weird swordfish looking things. And we're like skipping along at the bottom of the ocean. It's like a musical. Who does this? 
Ebony and Ivory do it. <laughs> You know, today was another mission for Ebony and Ivory successfully achieved. Wow. And now the world is our platter. And we skipped on the bottom of the ocean. Not many people can say they've done that. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to be like celebrating like our third year of DK. Think about everything that we've gone through and everything we've done. I feel like we're like a family now, you know? I don't know. It's kind of cool. What's next? I don't know. What is next? Babies for you? Me? You're the only married one. Oh, well, besides Donna Q. <laughs> <laughs> what is next? What do you think is going to happen next? Yeah, that's what happened on the uh, first. Yeah. yeah. At the start of season two, man. Yo. Yeah. 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 What's up, man? Hi. I was coming. Hey, <laughs> so, does anybody know what the hell's going on? No. Do we ever? Well, what up, y'all? What up, what up, what up? We in the club home. Good. Tell me about the trip. Uh, we swim with dolphins. Yes. Swim with dolphins. Well, some of us were scared to swim with dolphins. Yeah, yeah. who was scared? That's why you scared 12 feet. Yeah, I just wanted to send y'all away on a trip. I think y'all worked extremely hard on the tour. And um, I wanted y'all to just get a couple of days to lay back and relax. Hopefully y'all had a good time. Yes. Thank you. And um, en enjoyed yourselves. Yeah, well, you know, we got a long year ahead of ourselves. Y'all will be up doing more shows and more tours together, probably going some other tours with other groups. You know, I think that that was a, a great warm-up. Cool, that's what's up. But I want to talk to the girls alone, y'all. So I'm going to excuse y'all now and then just tell y'all, um, you know, keep doing what y'all doing, and I'll see y'all later on. Okay. All right? You come out of the studio if you ain't doing that later on tonight. Yes, sir. I may, go, I may go out to One Oak later on, all right? Yeah, so I don't, I don't want to be overly dramatic and um, with the clan of the room, but we just had a point where we just all need to sit down and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Um, we all started out on this journey like, you know, four years ago together. It's been a crazy ride with y'all, you know? It's been great watching y'all grow. You know, I would say my proudest moment was, you know, watching y'all on tour. Seeing y'all perform and seeing the way people re reacting to y'all. We got a number one album, MTV nominations. Platinum selling act. And even with all of that said, I'm, I'm unsure about the future of the group. Your lives have played out in front of the camera. You know, but then there's also a portion of your lives that play out when the cameras are off. We're coming to a crossroads right now in the reality of our relationship. And it's really just time for some real talk on um, where we're going with it. Because um, we got to figure out what the future of the group is. And, and I just need some honest, real talk. I don't need no bull Because for me, the reality of the situation has changed with the vision. The reality of the situation has changed with the vision. The reality of the situation has changed. The vision. The reality of the situation has changed. The vision.
So, um, Andrea. A couple of months ago, I had got an email that you were thinking about leaving the group. It was a lot of, like, internal things. And... Okay, what's the internal things? You wanted to quit the group. That's a serious thing. No, so it was. I need to know why you wanted to quit the group. I mean, I was going... What, what's going on? I was going through, like, a lot of personal problems in my life. Uh -huh. On top of... Issues with, like, the group. What's the issues with the group? I mean, I don't think it's issues with us, like, getting along. I think it's stuff, like, outside things that are always, like, affecting us. Where it was... I was sitting there feeling like, gosh, like, I don't... I don't... I just want to be in a group. Like, that's it. I don't want to do anything else. I don't want to, I don't want to be, you know, an actress. I don't, want to, I don't have those other things. Like, this was my dream. So it kind of came to a point where it's just like, if everyone's not wanting to do that, then why, you know, kind of stay in it? Because it just felt like it was, like, being forced. You know, but then talking with the girls and stuff, like, and, you know, Don and, and Shannon a lot, I just... Mm. You know we don't really get along, right? I wouldn't say that's not a, that's not like an issue, not a, anything like that. I think it was like from management. And, and, and I want to say this is not foreign to, to just you. There's a lot of groups that are still together, but like people that haven't spoke to each other in 20 years because of something that somebody thought somebody was on, and it just wasn't communicated straight, looking in the eyes. And this is a this is a multi-million dollar investment for me, and I'm just asking real talk. No, I can. I mean, things just weren't. I don't know the way that. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna I'm just I'm gonna I'm come back to that then. I mean I don't want to put, put too much pressure on you. Or B, there was a time you sent me an email too, where it was a time where in the email it felt like you had it with the group. I've never had it with this group. I've never said that I quit. I've never said I want to quit. And I said that you quit. I had it. I've had, just... had it with feeling unhappy in different situations, and I think that um, there are a lot of issues, and most of them are much bigger than this group. So what is it? <clears throat> Do you guys mind if I speak about the things that we talk about as a group? Because I'm not going to speak individually because everything that I'm about to say is something that everyone in this group has said. Okay. Okay. I feel like we, we, um... I feel like it, like you said, it is hard enough to keep five women together and it is hard enough to make five women believe in things when we are all completely different because at the end of the day we have felt in one way or another that everything around us at one point or another has not believed in us. There's certain levels of respect that we want. I mean, we've never had that from management. We have had bad seed after bad seed and it keeps getting worse. Those people play a large part in the reason why this group can't pull it together at times. Like, when you have five sisters in a house, you gotta have mom and dad come in every once in a while like, stop it. Go sit in the corner, shut your mouth and Stop crying. We don't have anything like that happening. And all of us have enough respect for each other as women, for the most part. We're not going to boss each other around and, and play mom to each other. I try to take responsibility for, 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 for my reality. You know what I'm saying? If I let somebody dictate my reality, then that's still my fault. So if I let myself be in a situation where I don't have the right management, that's still my fault. If you want to know the internal issue, it's a trust issue. Minus everything around us, it is a trust issue. Okay. You cannot have five women getting on stage every night, moving forward with a career when there is a lack of trust within each other. We have outside ears coming in all the time. Puff wants to move solo with this person. Puff saying this person's a future bad boy. Puff saying this at MTV that he wants to make you all the dream girls and then move forward with Dawn with her on this and that. We don't speak much to you. All of that being said, I don't think anything can exist without communication. Not a marriage, not a relationship, not a group, not anything, and there is none. Right now it's clear that there is a click in this group, right? I don't know what the Eb click is. No, you know the click. You call yourselves Ebony and Ivory, right? Y'all Can click. I address that? Oh, only, only thing I'm trying to say is that I don't even see y'all two ever speak. That is the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. I've never seen a, a group of five people where two people avoid each other. I mean, so, yeah, so do, was... do, do y'all think I'm stupid? No, I don't, I don't think avoid you're doing it on. I don't that think that's way too much effort. Y'all don't speak. Can somebody answer that? I'm investing my money in a group. I've spoken to you all morning long, have I not? 
Yeah, we did. Y'all speak? Yeah, we I've do talk. Spoken to her I mean, there's moments where we don't talk, and we just, that, it kind of, it's like, okay, it's no, like no, this. No, not today. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So instead of, this, if y'all don't want to answer the question, I'm not, I'm, just, I'm saying I'm not no, going to answer the question. No, it's just, there's no internal issue that I have with anyone here that is making it that I don't want to be in this group. What do you feel the state of things that don't, what do you feel the problems that maybe, please don't give me the same unifying theme, because that shit is not going to work. Somebody going to tell the truth up in this bitch. Um, this is how I feel about it. I think it has a lot to do with our business within Danity King. Us as five females, we don't trust each other, therefore the business is not working. Like, having the chemistry on stage because we don't trust each other and because we are clicked. Like, we may not say it, but the reality is we are, we hang with certain people. So when we, we go on stage, we do what we do, and then we leave and we peace out and we don't talk to each other. We just do whatever the hell we want. We, you know, sometimes we make it to a show as five, sometimes we make it as four. Sometimes we have days where we talk to each other, some days we don't talk to each other for weeks. Some days we're click, like when it comes to management and outside stuff, we band together because we, that's the only thing that kind of gets us on the same page. But when that is it, when we do red carpets, when is Danity Kane supposed to be there, we are never together. Who's the, who's the fifth person that won't be there? D wasn't, D, no, no, no D didn't make meeting. that meeting. But then we had a show where we had a show with us for, and Aubrey didn't come because she had to do her obligation as Broadway. When we have a show coming up and maybe D has an obligation or maybe Drea has an obligation, when Drea said she wanted to quit, it was going to be us for and playing an audition. To me, that f***ed up. Your business, that f***ed up the name, that f***ed up the brand. So you feel what I'm and saying? And then y'all don't like each other. And then we don't like each other. We talk to each other, but this is the reality of Danity King. That's it right there. And I, I mean, that's just the honest truth of it. What's your feeling? As far as the clicks, I mean, I don't think any one of us, I know, and just speaking for myself, I don't have any things personally against anyone around this table. I just feel like there's a special relationship that I have with Shannon, there's a special relationship I have with Andrea, with Dawn, with Aubrey. Of course, the one with Aubrey is more obvious because we're together more. You have anything you want to say? I think that we just need to refocus. You know, it's hard but we always are managed to refocus, so I know the promise and the potential is... I'm, 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 I'm gonna give y'all a, 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 you know, um, a gauge on, so y'all y'all clear on, like, where y'all at relationship-wise. Emotions will have you broke. Emotions will have you broke and have you watching the MTV Awards 10 years from now, kicking yourself in the ass. Emotions are a dangerous thing. Y'all always make me look like a bad guy on TV, and I'm not gonna look like a bad guy. If y'all want to blame it on anything else but the people right here looking at each other, then y'all are going down the wrong road. You know what I'm saying? You got blessed with a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And that opportunity could go away right now. But not under me, almighty puff power, on, on, into your hands. Y'all could take that opportunity away. I didn't want to put out there what I was doing. But um, I had Dawn helping me do some demos on my album. But y'all know she has a special voice. You know what I'm saying? We all have our strengths. Y'all all have your strengths in, in the group. I don't understand the point of the jealousy or the, the point of getting scared. It shows how weak and fragile the group is. I don't have- I think it would have been good if you just communicated that because mm -hmm. Harv Pierre told me that, she, that you guys were moving forward with the solo album. Mm -hmm. And when you do something like that and we have problems with ourselves because of our past with this situation is like the lying or the manipulation or the like you know you know, you know, you know something for me i'm not doing anything negative or foul okay. i don't so so at the end of the day my thought process so maybe is can not we communicate my, better then i don't have to do that okay that's what i want to let you know okay. you, you have to deal with the reality of where you're at you're not dealing with that reality so just no i'm the chairman of bad boy I don't have to call Aubrey. No, to I don't tell want you to call anything. me. I just want to communicate between Danity Kane and our label. I, I, there's certain things that if, if I'm doing it for a reason, just for press wise, not to know what I'm doing with my album, I don't have to communicate it to you. But I, if, if there's plans to take a member and do a solo album when we're sitting here working on the group and you want us to sit and trust that we'll just never know when you're going to make a move, that's what we have to do. No, you don't I'm have just to. asking. I'm saying you don't have to. That's the beauty about America. You can leave. I'm not, I don't have no shackles on you. Look, and I don't have no shackles on nobody. You can leave. If you don't like the way I do business, you can leave. But it wasn't even that deep. You making it that deep. I'm not making anything, you, anything. You are because you, Absolutely you know what not. you are. So now let's get to me. The vision that I had for the group, this ain't the vision that I'm on. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I don't work these amount of years to have you talk to me this way. I'm not meaning so to So I don't want you in the group no more. That's where I'm at with it. Okay. All right, because I, I don't want to even have to have this conversation. And anybody else that want to go with her could go with her. That's the way I feel, and this is the point of where it's coming down to. That's where it's at. Because I'm telling you right this, I don't like her energy. I don't like her style and direction where she's going with it. I don't like what she does to the brand when she's wilding out there, being overly raunchy, promiscuous. So there's nothing else to talk about. Would you like to go with her? Would you like to go with it? Would you, would you like to think about it? I'm going to give you some time to think about it, because she's not going to be in Danny Kane. I don't know if it's Danny Kane without the five of us. Okay. Like, like you did a great job picking each individual okay. person being so you, unique. You have to make that decision. You seem like, at the end of the day, you're not really happy in the situation. Based on a lot of things that I've heard, you're not really a happy camper in this situation. No, I don't think anyone has been happy for a okay. long time in this situation. Okay, so you can go too. Are you sure about I'm that? I'm positive about that. I respect your decision. So do I. Okay. And I just want you to know it's been a pleasure working under you. I've respected you for all my, you know, growing up and I'm really sad that it came to that decision, and I hope that well, you, we can you, find you, another you, way to no, work no, together. No, no, you're saying that you're not happy in the group. I, I'm saying that the way that the group has been, maybe even including you, have been happy why, why, with Danny Kane for a I long time. Why do I do it like time. this? Let me back up. Let me not let you catch none of her energy. You know what I'm saying? Let me not let you catch her reality. She not going to be in this group. And you have a chance right now. You want to get out of the group, you have a chance right now to leave with her. You here, right? Yeah, because she was part of the problem of the group for you. No, no, yes, that's she not. Was. I really just, I, for me, I don't think that there's there's, All right. there's not a group okay. without the five of us. Okay. I, I'm, I'm going to let y'all think about that, though. There will be a Danny Kane, though. It's right here. It ain't there no more. This ain't the vision that I had for. God put this group together, and it's God's will that will decide what's really going to happen. Whether he speaks through you or speaks through us. bring God in this, because if y'all bring God in this with y'all petty, y'all disrespecting God. I 
Real and saying he's not Daniel Kane and blah blah blah. That's what I'm saying. Sorry, that's your client. We need to talk. Why don't you come into my office? This is the situation I'm in. I'm just in a, I'm in a up position because um, I don't think it's the whole group. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not trying to divide and conquer y'all. Putting y'all in a position where, you know, if y'all don't want to stay in the group without it, then y'all could go. But I don't know really what else to say because I don't have a problem with y'all. I don't want y'all, I don't have, I don't have a problem with nobody really. You know what I'm saying? I need to know how, this is an uncomfortable position for all of us. How do y'all want me to handle this? As far as like going forward. Honestly, like for real, like. Like worse than you're like, like I, I can't, like we like, we can't go back to nothing, bro. It's not like, like I don't have anything. Like I, I, I know that we don't have, like I don't, I don't have, this is, what, this is it, this is a dream, this is it. So like, it's not like, it's not like we don't want to continue. It's just, it's like we never saw it without, so that's what the, it's not even about that question of, yeah, I got you. you know what I mean? I, I think it's just, we don't. And, 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 and that's why people should appreciate each other. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's why y'all should appreciate it, because the way y'all feeling now and the tears and all of that right now, it ain't the way that y'all be feeling on a daily basis. Sometimes y'all be wishing who wasn't in the group with y'all. You know what I'm saying? So everybody got to watch what they wish for, you know? I really think it's really unfair to you, Shannon. You've been a pleasure to work with, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what you say you do behind my back or whatever it is, but at the end of the day, you've been a pleasure to work with. Dawn, you've been a pleasure to work with, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you're in the problem child category. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna keep it real with you. I'm not trying to hurt you. I gotta keep it real with you, you know what I'm saying? I feel like the problems that's going on in the group is between three people, and that's looking from the outside in. So that's why I've, I've asked everybody, tell me what's going on so I can, we can try to work through this together. I can help you all or something, because I'm already locked into it. I don't want this to be a failure on my record, that I had to drop a group off the label and let them sign on another label after they put out two number one albums. It don't make sense. So you got to know it's not about the money for me. 
not trying to do nothing to hurt y'all. I hurt her, hurt anybody personally. I tried to sit down, talk to y'all about it, tried to get to the bottom of it, and then it became clear what y'all are dealing with. And I'm not going to deal with that, though. give y'all a chance to go back, pray on it, breathe on it. I'm not walking away from y'all. Don't. I want y'all to be nervous like that. I am evaluating the state of where I want to go to with this. I got to make a business decision. So I need to know. I got to evaluate what's going on. But y'all have to give me that information. Don't. I'm not. Y'all are holding the cards right now. Y'all have to give me the information to evaluate and pass the cards back to me. Sorry, you know what I'm saying? I got just as much of a problem as y'all. So when y'all leaving here, I got the same problem. You know what I'm saying? One of my top groups I have a problem with. So y'all leaving here, we both got the same problem. It's not just like, you know. All right. All right. Thank you. All right, let me give y'all a hug. You know what I'm saying? I don't have nothing personal with y'all. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry it's going down like this, all right? I'm sorry it's going down like this. All right? All right. Sorry. Talk I'm actually. This is reality TV. So what you're seeing is what happens in the music industry year after year, decade after decade. Whether it was the Beatles breaking up, NSYNC, Destiny's Child, The Outcast. I don't know what's going on. I have no words. Um, I don't even know. I'm like speechless right now. I'm like, I can't, I don't, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to think. With all my heart, I don't see Danny Kane without it being the five of us. We're all so different, but it's just perfect. You can't, you couldn't force this to work. So I don't. We're girls and we fight and we kick and scream, but at the end of the day, I think we all like, you know, really do care about each other. I don't know what Puff's plan is. He could very well say this is over for the group. I can't imagine that singing again. I can't um, imagine not being on stage. We just work so hard. I don't want to lose my dream. I don't want to lose Danny Kane's dream. Just hang in there, please. Oh, I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I'm sad. What was your reaction? I mean, finding out that both both girls got kicked out of the group. I don't know, man. It kind of hurt. It kind of hurt me. You know what I'm saying? Because they like our sisters now. Like, you know what I'm saying? We we didn't like you said live with them in the same house and everything. And it's just like I remember when we first all met up to go to Miami, and then to to go from that to like to now, it's just like. It's a shock, man. It's crazy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I see Donnie, you shaking your hand, and you and Aubrey were like on, and on again, off again, <laughs> cupcaking, <laughs> broke up. I mean, did you have any indication that this was taking place or that she was frustrated? Nah, I had no idea. Um, me and Aubrey kind of had a fallen out, so we haven't been in touch. So for me, this was my first time seeing the footage, like right backstage, right with everybody, and I was gasping with everybody in the audience. Like, I can't believe it. Wow. I can't so, believe so it. So you're off again again? Well, yeah, we're off. <laughs> Everybody know Dawn's my girl, so we talk or whatever. So just to hear her, like she would, she would, she would come, like she would come to me and tell me, like, cute, like I'm trying, like I want to make this work, like just like prime example when Aubrey tried to call her out mm -hmm. on the solo deal. You did hairspray, she didn't call you. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's jealousy. You know what I'm saying? It's unfortunate that that's that that stuff is that petty. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I think that it's petty that they can't get over it. Like that's yeah, it's it's silly to me. Look right? at the end result right now. Were you shocked when this all went down? Yeah, very shocked. I think I don't think we all even saw this coming. Mm -hmm. You're still kind of shocked, huh? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> in case you didn't think this is real, this is very real, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. It's their lives. This, <laughs> it's their lives. You know, Don, you said that uh, you can't be a group if you don't trust each other. Why? What made you say that? Um, I think it's just in any marriage, and I think most importantly with us, we are a business. This is our lives, and I think. Um, Trust is one of the most important things beyond communication, and I think once you start losing that, that can affect your brand, that can affect your family, and I think that's what even Aubrey and all of us were talking about, with it, whether it be with the label and us, whether it be with Danny DK and ourselves, communication and trust is so important, and if you don't have that, you don't, you don't have a common, 
a level to stand on, and we were standing on rocky ground to begin with. The whole time. Yeah, so. You can even tell, though. I mean, you could not tell, but not. With any other not yeah, just like anything. This business is extremely hard. It's a and, business. You know, if, you, if you're not, you know, if you, once again, we all were competitors. Mm -hmm. People fail to realize we were five different personalities trying to get in and make it work. We're real. We put our whole lives out here, so I'm, you know, we're not gonna fake it. Okay. We're gonna tell you the real, real what's going on. It doesn't mean it can't be fixed, though. Okay. I, I feel like we are family, and that's why we have moments where we don't get along. I, I have times with my husband. If you guys saw that, you'd be like, oh, they're, they're not gonna last. But I'm married to the man till the day I die. So, I. I oh. <laughs> I, I'm just that. That's the truth of this. That's that's why I'm so shocked that this has come to what it has come to because. Real families do have problems. I'm sure y'all don't get along with your mom, your brother, your sister, your father on 24-7. So that's why I'm really shocked that it came to a, basically a dismantle situation over 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 beefs. And I, I'm still very shell, shell shocked well, by it all. This is the time to get it off your chest. How do you two feel about the group's potential now, Andrea? I'm honestly, I just, I have no words. Like, I don't even know where to, like, look right now or what, what to even really think. What about you, Don? I think people haven't even seen the potential of what this group can be. Mm -hmm. And um, I think um, we're strong women. You're strong? You so I don't, I don't, I'm not scared. Okay. I know we'll get it together, and I know we will not just disappoint the fans because at the end of the day, when no one was there, they were. They were there. Okay. All right. Now, Aubrey was the first DK member named to the group that you chose, and basically you built the group around her. How hard was it for you to actually let her go? Um, it, it really wasn't that hard for me to let her go because she, she wasn't, no, 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 let, 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 me, let me be clear, because the Aubrey that y'all saw in that situation that y'all saw just previously in the episode, that wasn't the Aubrey that I signed. You know, the young lady that I signed was, was it was a totally different person. Like, if you show a before and an after picture, it'll be two different people. And, and, and the thing is about being in a group. You have to be respectful of others. You have to be respectful of how your actions are affecting the rest of the group. Um, people have to take care of their families. And I really just got to a head the inevitable. Okay. Now, now, I will say this, though. If, if, if there was a situation where the Aubrey that I signed ever showed up, I don't know what the future could hold. Mm, but okay. um, that young lady that was in front of me, you know, that, that wasn't really, to me, respectful of me and respectful of everybody else. Um, you know, I, I, I didn't have any interest of like going forward and working with that person. I'm interested to see a lot of these problems are internally with the girls themselves. Puff is not the bad guy, okay? So when these girls come out there, I want them to tell the truth about what's really going on with them. And there's no problem with having problems. Groups usually you have to work through those situations. But, but there are some internal problems that are going on with the group. And this is a show about reality. And at Bad Boy, we always keep it real. So what you saw is exactly how it went down. What about Dee Woods? I mean, she's like the soul of the group. Was she just guilty by yeah. uh, affiliation, association? Yeah, 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 yeah. To be honest, I would have no problem with working with Dee Woods. I think she just caught, like, the wrath of a little bit. And I, I did back up. You know, I, I did backpedal, which I normally don't do, because I didn't mean to hit her with that. I was just like, I was bugging that. You know, I'm looking at Aubrey telling me what I can and can't do with my label. I've been in this game like like 15 years I do what I want to do you know what I'm saying at the end of the day I'm gonna have respect for my family and and, and, and I'm gonna have respect for my groups you can't tell me what I can do and can't do when I'm investing millions of dollars in you you know so D Woods, she kind of caught that real quick and it wasn't really meant for her so I would definitely work for her with her and the other four girls but most importantly I would only work with a group that work their own problems out they have internal problems that don't have anything to do with me and I want to also say one thing I got love for Orby I don't have no beef for her I just want to, I want to work with the young lady I signed, not okay. the person that the fame ha has made her. Okay. Andrea looked like she's going to cry. Okay. And everybody, she always, she always looks like that. Uh, what is your take on what happened? You know, I want to be completely real with all of you right now. I had like this nice little thing to say to all of y'all to make you see what I really am, what my character is, what I've, you know, how much I've defended Danity Kane, how much I love this group, how much I've had this entire situation's back from the beginning. And then I, you know, heard what Puff said, and it brought me back to the haters and the blog sites and all the people that constantly want to call me a hoe and say that I don't represent women and say that, you know, because I, I'm real and because I say what I feel, that, that, you know, I'm disrespecting people as a woman. And I just want to really tell y'all the truth. I walked out of this building. I was not going to come up here on this stage and just
five minutes ago because I'm so sick of having to defend myself as a woman because I really, really believe in myself and I really, really want people to get it so bad. But there comes a point where you just get so sick of doing it. But I want to tell you, I stopped myself and I thought of all the people because this isn't about me, this isn't about Danity Kane, this isn't about Puff, this isn't about any of the people you saw on stage tonight all gassed up and whatever. This is about life. We're all living it. We're all trying our best every day. And I know how many people are out there. and People are criticizing you, your job. Your friends are calling you things. People are telling you you're something you're not. And you fight those struggles every day to just prove who you are. And at the end of the day, I turned around and came out here because that is what I represent. And I would rather be hated every damn day of my life for being real than, for, than love for being something I'm not. You know what? Give her a round of applause. I can appreciate that. Okay, is there anything that happened that you regret, or do you regret the way it ended? Well, I, I don't have regrets in life because I think even even the, the things that I've done that I'm not so proud of have taught me how to be better in life. So, no, I absolutely have no regrets. I don't think any of the ladies sitting on this, this stage tonight have regrets. You know, we've fought. Okay. We haven't gotten along. Okay, we haven't trusted each other, and we've had moments where we weren't so honest or real or, or, or like, the best of family to each other. Okay. But there is something that's going on with us five women that y'all will never know. And it's not in a disrespectful way, but it is family. And we have struggles that y'all will never know, that y'all will never see. Well, and we have gotten through them together. Every time we have gotten through, okay. we've found the strength. Aubrey, I mean to cut you off. Sorry. Hey, yo, check this out, baby girl. See, your, 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 your attitude is going to have you in a dark and lonely place. Trust me on that. Okay. Any, so, you know, you, what, what you need to do, at the end of the day, what you need to do is humble yourself. There's millions of people that would love to be in your position. And the people in the audience need to tell you real talk. For real, y'all you, need to get rid of the pettiness and take the accountability on yourselves. It ain't got nothing to do with me. Y'all have to work your, your own situations out, but let's stop front. Let's keep it real, though. You know, Diddy, thank you again. It's good to see you girls together right now on the couch. I wish D. Woods was here as well. Uh, I want to thank you guys for this finale. And somehow, I really feel like there's going to be another season of Making the Band. What do you guys say to that? I'm just as disappointed as you guys are. You helped to give Danity Kane two number one albums, two platinum albums, and I thank you for that. So I'm back in New York, and I have a meeting with Puff. So... You know, I'm interested to see what the meeting will be about. The last time I saw Puff was, I feel like, D-Day for, for Danny Kane. Kind of left us in a question mark if Danny Kane would survive the decisions that he made. But I really want to be a part of this group. And I'll be that way until I feel like there's no power left in it. What up? Hey. How you? What's going on? Nothing much. Nothing much. Nothing much, Michael. Whatever. You got your Michael Jackson You're voice mean. on. What's up, what's up? Come sit right up here with me. Come, come in the inner circle of trust while I'm working. <laughs> come sit down. Come feel I feel like you need you some love. You. Come sit down and get... You, Is get, it coming off me that bad? Yeah, yeah. Come, come, come get some love. <laughs> let, me, let me get this room, though, so I can talk to her real quick. What's up? Nothing at all. That's <laughs> a bad been, thing. What's been going on? I have no idea. Have y'all talked? No, I've talked to Andrea a couple of times, and we've been back and forth, and she's been cool, but um, Shannon... I haven't, haven't heard from her. She doesn't return my phone calls. And I thought y'all was cool. At least y'all three was cool. I thought we were too. <laughs> Lawyers have gotten the mix of You know, things. at the end of the day, this is really like, you know, know, it's, it's, it's some, this is some real bull You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, people and groups have broken up for some real serious right. Like, y'all don't even know what the reason. Y'all need a therapist or something. I would be willing to do anything. Y'all all got a lot of talent. And even if it was a case where y'all didn't like each other, couldn't stand each other, 
it's just it's just a way that y'all gotta like close out the chapter. You know what I'm saying? This shit has to have closure even for the fans. Like just on the internet, this shit just be crazy. People's minds are blown. They don't really know what happened. I don't know what happened. I don't understand. Like even so, the last what was the last time you spoke to Shannon? What was her problem? I don't. I thought I thought we were continuing, like at least with the last meeting with the three of us, I thought we were gonna try to. Was there anything you said in interviews? Uh, anybody no. said in interviews? Not even just anybody that that for a reason for y'all three to no, have a problem. No, I don't with each think other? we have a problem. I think, I think something was told to her by a lawyer. Mm. Like I think, like not to say anything to anyone, because I talked to Dre and I was like, Dre, can you talk to Shannon? And she was like, she won't mention anything about the show about. The, the album or anything she'll talk she talked about her home but that was it i don't think she's mad i just think she's fed up with the situation but i thought us three at least had a common ground do you have everybody's recent numbers you have everybody's mm -hmm. actual recent numbers mm -hmm. all right give me their numbers you got them on you now are you serious yeah let me see their numbers i'm gonna just see what the f is up because it's like i don't be liking to get in no bull but y'all need a, a mediator and you know, I, I still, no matter what, I'm still, see, I'm still like so to, like, more real, responsible. Situations like this put me in really bad, like it puts me in like really bad positions, like because they look at me and they all hate me. Well, they, they think you they give think me inside I'm, information yeah, or something. They, they hate me, like because okay. of and it, it, you, don't, it, you it, ain't got to give me the numbers. I'm just saying in public, it just the, seems like I'm a snitch. That's I, the word how, from how, everybody. I'm, I'm the snitch. I'm the one that's in cahoots. I'm the, I'm the bad one. I don't think anybody is more or less to blame. Even if you sit there and be quiet, you know what I'm saying? I feel it's, you. it's almost like I go rob a store and you know about it, you riding in the car with me. You know what I'm saying? I feel you, you, on that. you get the same amount of time as me. I just wanna know where your thing is at. Cause this is a record company and you know, at the end of the day, you know, um, this if if we gonna move on with the three of y'all, four of y'all, you know, we we gonna wait but for so long. You know. And, and then and then it comes a thing of just other acts get, you know, bumped up on the list of priorities. If they're not calling back, then they're not calling back. I mean, you know, and if they come around, then they come around. And if not, then, you know, this is show business. The show must go on, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Dad. Hey, baby. I'm just calling you guys to tell you how the meeting went with Puff. What happened? He just wanted to know how everything was going. He, you know, asked me about the girls and how I felt about everything. Just an overall kind of light situation. But I just feel awkward, you know, because I'm out here in New York and I'm by myself, you know, and I'm in a meeting with Puff by myself. And it just, it makes me feel like I'm continuously being, being put, you know, in a, in a bad position, right? Because once again, everyone's asking me to be honest and tell the truth about the situation. But the first time I did that, we all know how that worked out. I think he was looking for me to give answers that I couldn't give because I honestly don't, I don't know anything more than anybody else. I'm just as clueless, just as lost. I have no idea how I'm going to get income. No, I, I can't talk to my group members because half of them don't answer the phone. The other half is fed up with this situation. So, like, I don't even know what to do. There's nothing else you can do. It's like getting out of a divorce and going on to it. You gotta go on with your life. You can't start waddling in, in the But DK is a part of my life. Make people come back because, because if they don't want to come back, you can't make them come. I know, but I think Puff is trying to. Everybody else is doing what they have to do, and I think you should think about yourself because you're always thinking about everybody else. I love my group, and I love, I love, I love all of them, and it hurts me that it's like this. I just wanted to be like it used to be. I love y'all. I'm going to go sleep and I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Good night, baby. Love you. All right. What is life to be? So I'm still here in New York. Puff has scheduled a meeting, but I'm a little worried because he's scheduled for everybody to come and I'm the only one that showed up so far. So. It's not looking good. How is your group going? <laughs> That's the question of the year, right? Yes. The day he can't even break up. No, I don't really know what's happening. I've been trying to get in touch with Shannon, and she hasn't returned any of my calls. Mm. And um, Andrea, she's like, I really want to work. I miss what the group could have been, but right. you know, I just. 
when I came to the dream for Danny Kane, I just, you know, didn't expect it to be this. I do think people, you guys gotta keep Danny Kane going for your fans. You right. I think it'd be selfish if you guys just stop Danny Kane. Well, we want, we want Shannon. Three of you? But I would like that because I feel like no matter what happens with Danny Kane, Danny Kane originally was the five of us. If they choose to stay with us, but you know what? Then you, know, you know what I disagree with you at? What? If they can't stand up and make a wise decision for y'all lives, because y'all started Danny Kane, I think you should go out and make the smart and business choice and look for two new members who will appreciate Danny Kane for what it is. If they're your sisters, they'll be in that phone calling you right now, trying to get the off. Because if I'm in some beef with day 26, I'm gonna be in the phone calling them, right, it's trying bigger. to get it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's world, bigger. It's big. We're all bigger than. It's I all mean, bigger than with them. I'm open-minded to anything. I just know that I want to be a part of a group. I want to be a part of the Indie King. It's so petty. It's so it's sad. It's unfair to all the people who want dreams and can't have them. for what I really have no idea what um, Diddy wants to talk about so we'll see what happens I think what Diddy did was inevitable it was gonna happen at one point or another he just made it happen that day I spent night after night crying and crying and crying about it. But at one point, you just gotta kind of, you gotta stop crying and you just gotta move on. And I'm definitely ready to figure out the next step in my life. I would love for it to be, you know, continuing with Danity Kane. Um, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. So we'll see. <laughs> you look cute. <laughs> Is anyone else coming? Or is it just you? It's just me. Damn it. <laughs> hey! <laughs> How are you? I'm better now. You're better now? <laughs> <laughs> So, what's going on? I'm ready to get back to work. I'm ready, let's go. Are I can't we... take it. I can't you understand, I've been going nuts at home. I had a meeting with Puff. What did he say? Nothing. He wanted me to give him all of Danny Kane's numbers. So I said, I think you've put me in a lot of positions where you've singled me out into this situation and everyone starts hating me. I and hate a lot. you. I know you haven't, but I'm just saying in general. I said, I'm tired of being the person you come to because it looks bad. It looks bad and it makes it look like we have this special pack and then I got this vendetta and it's not even like that when you barely talk to me. Yeah. Where do you think his mindset is? I think in his mind it was going to be four of us and he was going to keep it moving. That's what I think he thought. I don't think he expected this. No. Everyone keeps thinking that we're going to get back together. Have you spoken to any other girls? Have you? They haven't reached out, no. Will people accept us as a two self? <laughs> I have to laugh sometimes oh because God. I don't want to cry. Like, I cried for like a week. <laughs> I woke up one day and I was just like, I can't cry anymore. I can't cry anymore. I don't understand how we got so lost. What happened to nothing matter but the record and the music, you know what I mean? We took so much for, for granted. granted. I don't know how we'll find it, but we'll get it. We'll see. Don't say that. Say yes. Yes. Hi. Hi. Oh my God. Good to see you. That's a familiar face. Yeah. <laughs> how you been? Good. Busy. Busy? Aw, you having fun? It's good. What about you? Oh, just great things going on. Yeah? No, I'm kidding. No. I have no idea what's going on. I'm so out of the loop. Like, what's going on? I'm meeting with Puff. 
That's all I know. Wait, wait. I just had one. How is that? I feel like I'm just watching my whole career slip away. I don't know. No, you want yeah, can I have the um, the Texas omelet? Yes, nice omelet. Two scrambled eggs with American cheese. Thank you. I just been worried about you guys. Honestly, everybody's always asking me. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I I really thought that we would we would pull together, but I mean, it starts with the five of us. And do you talk to everybody? Not at all. Not at all. Just fed up with everything. With drama, yeah. It just seems like everything is like there's always something that's just not going like on, on plan. <sighs> what do you think is gonna happen? Do I think like the five of us will work it out? No. No? No. Would you rather it be just three of you or four of you or whatever or? Gladly. This is so weird. I get sad every time I hear our stuff, though. Every time I hear damage on the radio, I'm like, I am damaged. Every time? Like, every 10 seconds? No. <laughs> I have a feeling he's going to ask you what you want, what what you would want to happen. I feel like I want him to put back Danny the Kane together. No. <laughs> like, can we get on a conference call and call them? Can you make them? <laughs> Damn table. <laughs> Today, Puff has scheduled a meeting for all of Danny DeCain to show up at, and only Dre and I are here. Somebody gonna tell the truth. I've had a feeling unhappy. She was part of the problem. No. Yes. Y'all like each other. We don't trust each other. She's not gonna be in Danny again. Dude, everything happened in this room. If you really think about it, we were created in this room, we died in this room, and we can somehow be transformed. We should burn this room. Just Make set it on matches. fire when he walks in. Make the match. <laughs> I don't know, you guys, what's happening? There's no more you guys, it's just me right you now. You guys. <laughs> I don't know you guys. I don't know you guys. <laughs> it's really not funny. It's, it's not. not. I don't know. I think this is what we should do. I think music is all that matters and we just need to get back to that. I think we should put Puff in a wig. A blonde one? A blonde one. And, and be like, look. I think he should commence to Wearing glitter and big hair. He doesn't like big hair, it has to be straight. Straight. And we should put him in Danny Kane, and that'll be the three girls. I think that anyone who wanted to be here would be here right now. So we need to not I keep agree. going back to it. It's not there. That's a great statement. Two. So the last time I was here, um, I asked everybody what's really good, what's really going on, and you know I kind of got the runaround. And now we down to two of y'all, and I need to try to figure out where we're going, you know, with this group and y'all future. So I think it's pretty obvious. Anyone who wanted to be here would have been here. Mm hmm. So why is Shannon not here? I mean, we can't really speak for her. Yeah. So have y'all tried as we adults tried. to reach out to the girls? Who did you try to reach out to I mean, since the we, time we were here? I've talked to Shannon. Besides Shannon, 
the other no. judge haven't tried to reach out. So I mean, it's still that same thing. You haven't tried to reach out to well, them. No, because no. if they wanted to be here, they would be here. Because I think but, but, but everyone I, I, had the opportunity has to, to come, come back. to a point where somebody has to be the bigger person. We, I definitely think. I mean, I can't sit here and say like I've sat in front of them and been like, we can make this work. We got to put whatever we got to put behind us. I think we've all tried at one point or another. It's just you can only do so much. I think we just we're all on five different pages. And so y'all are prepared to, to not be a group? I mean, I don't think we have a choice. No, y'all do have a choice. When you can't get someone to answer your phone call, that's not your fault. Mm -hmm. Like, the reality is, I have reached out, but if someone doesn't want to pick up an email or a phone call or answer, answer me back, that's, that's the best that I can do. The Woods, in her mind, she thinks that there's no coming back. Mm -hmm. That's something we said. We sat in a meeting with her said, and told her yeah. to her face. I don't think Puff fired you. Like, I really don't mm -hmm. think. And she said, in my mind, he did. He did. As, as a businessman, I'm not letting nobody out their contracts. I'm not letting nobody out their contracts. It's not about to be other record companies taking advantage of this situation or y'all acting the way y'all acting and affecting my business. To me, it's hard to put out a group that has two number one albums that fans have supported, and I can't give them no, no real reason why y'all ain't together but some bull So at the end of the day, I want the world to know. I don't give a All right? We got some business that we still got to handle, and this is a business, and that's really reality. We're going to handle that so everybody can lawyer up, figure out what it is that, that's going to happen. Y'all have a responsibility to straighten this out. Y'all got me in a mess, the business but in a mess. But we can't make anyone here. Like, why do we have to suffer so the thing I'm like mad at all five of y'all. So, and that, that ain't going to change. I'm telling y'all to this, and I told D Woods this. And I told all so, of you. But the thing, thing is, but they're, they're not the here. Thing. They've obviously made a decision. This, I told them so, this what do we though. do from there? I don't care about your egos. Everybody it's better, not everybody not everybody better pick. Okay, I don't care if y'all got to call each other four or five times, whatever. But once you make the final decision and it's but over. We're not making the final making... decision. What okay. we're saying is, we're not making a final decision. We're sitting okay. here telling you so we want to work. Fine, Shannon. You want us to, to punch her in the face no. and drag her? Like, no, we no, here? Like, no, we no, wish we could. You don't understand? We sit I'm here saying, and we talk I'm, about I'm it. I'm saying y'all have to work things out sometimes with people. But I'm sometimes sorry. you but can't work things out with you. But if someone doesn't work it out with you, then what do you do here? Yeah. Try again. Try one last time for me. I'll try. We'll continue Thank to try. You very much. But I just try one like, last time for me. We'll try. I know you said you already gone ninety nine percent. Go that one last percent, because once that hammer comes down, boom, and and it's over. It's over. All right? Cool, thank you. So I know y'all been waiting for like a decision on what's going on with the group Danity Kane. And um, you know, after praying on it and after just really weighing what's going on business wise, I've come up with a decision. I've decided to release Aubrey from her contract, D Woods and Shannon. Um, now there's the two of y'all. Andrea, when you decided to be out of the group, I can understand why you wanted to be out of the group. You know, the people you were around, you wasn't gelling or clicking with them. So you decided to, like, give up. And through this whole time, that, that's been sticking with me. Because there's going to be so many times that you're going to want to give up. You're going to want to quit. Well, you're a great person. You're a great girl. But if I did another group, I wouldn't feel comfortable with doing a group with you. You know? And so I've given a lot of thought, and I'm going to let you out your contract, too. As far as for you, Dawn, I still want to make music with you. I still want you to be signed to the label. Um, and, you know, if I decide to put that together, Dan and D. Kane, then, you know, you'll be the only member that'll still be there. That's my decision. You know, that's where I'm at. You know, it's a hard decision. But, you know, when you're the head of the label, you gotta sometimes make those decisions. 
this isn't a decision I wanted to make. Be honest, your girls made this decision for me. Y'all been wanting to know what time it is? That right there is the decision. All right? some sense of hope in each other that we were kind of like clinging on to. It could still be there. We could still make it work. So when he, you know, said his final decision, it was it's kind of like someone coming and just sloshing him. And like, no, it's not there. That's it. And to work so hard for something and kind of see it come to that point, knowing what it could have been, it's disappointing. And, you know, we worked really really hard to be where we are and for it to end the way that it did um, sucks. <laughs> That's the only word I can think of. It. it sucks really bad. I want to build a female international superstar group. The first is Andrea. It's really exciting. I'm so like in awe that I'm here. I've never been to New York. I came here to be a singer. I wanted to, you know, get on stage and perform at certain places and, and, and accomplish certain things. And I've done those things, so I can't be mad. I've been in Madison Square Garden and I've sung in front of tons and tons of people. I've, I've been at the Staples Center. I've been on stage there. I've, I've been all over the world. I've sold records. I've made two number one albums. That's a lot. <laughs> so, you know, it feels sad about that. I'm definitely excited to see what's next and um, I'm scared at the same time, but I, you know, I, I can't be mad. I've, I've, I've done the things that I came here to do and, you know, I'm so grateful for those things because there's people who don't get a chance to do half of what I've done. I think when it comes to the five of us, they're so special to me because they experience something that no one else can understand it the way that the five of us do. Like, I'm like com connected to them for the rest of my life because it's something so amazing that we accomplished together. be, you know, Dee, Aubrey, Shannon, Dawn, and me. <laughs> Who can 
tell us where is Andrea and why didn't she come? I don't know. You don't know? No, she... I'm sorry, I was saying hi back here. Oh. I talked we, I talked to Drea, and, okay. and she's just... You know Drea. She's like the sweet little sensitive one, and she just... She says she's been through a lot, and, and she does say hello to all you guys that she loves, and she just needed to be with family and, and be home, and I, I understand that. That's fair. You know what? All of you guys have been through a lot. Needless. <laughs> Why didn't you want to team up no. with them? No, it wasn't about me not wanting to be with them. It was deeper than that for me. I, when the last finale happened, I was definitely at a crossroad. You know, I know we all were. Uh -huh. And so in my personal journey for my own life, you know, the whole... I'll just say, the whole time I've been on tour with everyone has been my whole marriage, and I haven't had that time for my soul. Uh -huh. And so I, it was a personal choice. It wasn't anything against anybody, any of the amazing fans. It was just my personal journey. Okay. Right. What I will say is that it's something that started from the beginning, from the, actually the day we were chosen as a group. It's a very long process. There were a lot of things not in okay. place. Okay, wait, wait, let me, let me finish let okay. me finish my answer. Like this this group was put together okay. and there was not a a a sound foundation for us to have a real chemistry. And so when you have so many things out of order, then the personal things started taking place. So y'all so weren't getting along. It went from good to worse. I mean worse. from bad to worse. Okay. So I will definitely say a lot of professional things were not in order and then a lot of personal things went out of whack. And so when you have both things not working, you don't have anything it's to stand an explosion. on. explosion. And also, there was a moment where Robert referred to Q as Aubrey when he thought the group was breaking up. Yikes. How does that make you feel? You know, I battled with this answer, y'all. I really did, but this is the truth. Puff is a great man, and he taught us how to survive. Making the band taught us how to fight to survive. We spent... Hold on, hold on. This, there's a point. This entire situation taught us how to survive, and that's what I see people doing right now. They're trying to survive, and I can't hate on that. I don't appreciate, and I don't like how certain people are going about trying to survive, but I have to say that after being kicked out, I learned a bigger lesson way beyond anything I learned here, which is you got to fight to stay happy, and that takes forgiveness okay. for others, okay. and that takes... Hold up. I got the biggest one right here. Hold on. Okay, you... That takes forgiveness of yourself and the things that you wish you could have done to make the situation better. So I'm forgiving it all. I want to let it go. I want to okay. shed it. Well, I want to. Well, this is what we're going to do. Down on me. This is what we're going to do. I forgive you, Q. President of my fan club. Thank you, Q. Okay. What we're going to do, all the girls, well, the, except, with the exception of Don, none of you guys have seen Diddy since that day in the office. So what no, we're going to do. Him. Well, you've seen him. Have I've you, seen them. Well, we're going to bring them out in just a few minutes. When you have five different people, mm -hmm. we're going to go back to that. We have five different people who was in competition mode, but then you never have a sound foundation. You never have a coach to really... You have the dream team. You have all the, the hottest players. Then why you don't have mess a coach. it up? How we you because we had up? different agendas. We didn't mess it up. Okay, we what do you mean, Don? We, 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 we didn't different mess it up. We had, we had Wait, different agendas. Well, who had messed it up? I would Shannon, definitely Shannon, think everybody Shannon. had a part in it. We had different well, Everybody had a part. If we had an answer, we would have answered it and we would have fixed it. Don said you no, had, different, had agendas. different agendas. There's, there's this is the reality. No when we were in the group, we wanted to be a part of Danny D. Kane, and, and it wasn't just us. There was a lot of people around us that were making us bad, but we had to take accountability. We started when we weren't, unha when we weren't, when we weren't happy. Okay. When we weren't happy, people started going doing other things. And the, like we, we, won't, we tried to find happiness Aubrey elsewhere. Did Aubrey musical. did a Broadway musical. Aubrey did a Broadway musical. Okay, so did that, did that ruin it? That's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. We supported her. We supported her. Uh, we supported her. It's not just her. It's not just her. was the only one that ever supported her. It's not just her. D. Woods was the only one that ever supported her. That, well, she's the only one that went to the show because we had shows and she didn't show up. We had to go perform. Okay. You know a what I'm going to do? A, a, a fan pays a ticket. A fan Let's pays a ticket. Let's bring out the man who put you all together. Give it up for a <laughs> Hey, yo, so check this out. So I'm, I'm backstage. I'm listening to everything. And, 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 and this is what we have to get straight, you know? The, the whole making the band thing is a life, once in a lifetime chance opportunity. Nothing in life is perfect, you know what I'm saying? There were things that were going on with the young ladies that they knew about that were not just expressed to everybody else. They were doing their best to hold things together as anybody should. Whatever was going through with them, it didn't work out. You know what I'm saying? I don't know the reasons. I tried to get the reasons out of them. 
You know, as we sit here right now, it's going around in circles. The only thing that I could say, the only thing that I could say, the only thing that I could say, that there's some positive things that have come out of this, though. Y'all get, y'all got to meet some beautiful young ladies that are going to have some bright future. I, they were able to put out two number one albums. You know what I'm saying? You know, I have to say, Puff, you're right. Puff is right. This has been an amazing, amazing experience. And we don't take any of that for granted. We don't take any of you for granted or any of our accomplishments. We thank you completely for the opportunity. Cool. You have helped us. And, and I appreciate you saying that because all I try to do and all I try to do with this is to give young people an opportunity. All the other BS that comes with it, that's part of the game. And then y'all going to realize it in your solo things that that's what comes with the game. You got to try to work it out. Okay, let me do this because Andrea's not here, but if she was here today and haven't come together for this finale, ladies, if you had your way, would Danity Kane be a group again? Aubrey, I'll start with you. I think if everything could work itself out, absolutely. absolutely. Oh. D. Wood. I honestly have to say that um, I loved everything that we did together. I was always, you know, number one, number one, like going hard in the paint for Danity Kane. We had two number one albums because of y'all. We're double platinum. And um, I definitely feel like the season that we had was wonderful. Uh -huh. And I definitely think that if, if the, another season came around, it would be great. But right now, it's a new chapter. Everybody's going on to different things in solo careers. Oh, okay, Big so ups to Dawn. That, then you say no. And, hey. No. I, I, Just say I, no. <laughs> okay. I have Janet. a solo project I'm working on. I have a lot of labels very interested in okay, me. And I want fine. everybody that's to be fine. excited for the new things that I'm about to do. Okay, So Janet. be supportive of everybody moving on to we this new chapter. Yeah, yeah. We're we going to get, get back Shannon. to that. Shannon, what you think? With wisdom, I say this. I think at this point in time, no, not yet. But, listen, hey, I'm actually talking. You might want to listen. <laughs> You're breaking our hearts right now. Um, Why are y'all doing this? My, my, but no, 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 this is the same thing about Danny King. We have always said we want to conquer everything. We want to do everything. My hopes, my dreams is that one day we can come back together okay. as the five okay. Okay. and so the Danny Kane okay. that the, the, you know. The, the only way that's going to happen, Diddy, you, you have to give the green light. If, it, if it's to happen after D. Woods Diddy, you gotta has a successful me. solo yeah. career. Right. You got to rehire me. You know, you, know, you know what it is? You, you, know, you know what it is? You know what it is? I think that everybody, you know, needs a timeout. Need sometimes you just need when you family, when you family, sometimes you need a timeout. And then, I, but I will have this announcement. Everybody wanted to know what, what I felt was going to go with Danny Kane. There will never be another Danny Kane unless it's these girls right here. That's number one. 